Hi friends, welcome back to the shop for another exciting lighting episode. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana, Art's behind the camera, and we found that once the newness of our new 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe Calligraphy Edition wore off, that not all of the bulbs in it are LED. Now, LED bulbs are definitely one of those upsell points to this top trim level in the Santa Fe. So we were surprised when not all of them are actually LED. Uh, we mentioned this to our good friends at Oxido and they offered to help. So today I'm gonna show you how to remove the tail lights and replace the reverse bulbs with Oxido LEDs. So let's get started. Now, the Oxido lights that we're gonna be using today are the uh, Oxido 912-921 upgraded LEDs. Uh, we're gonna drop a link to these specific bulbs in the description of the video. If you would like to save money on your LED upgrade, use the code RENCHERS to save 50% across any lighting product in the Oxido catalog. So first step to actually access this reverse light bulb is to pull the entire lens off of the vehicle. It's surprisingly easier than you might think. We have access tabs hiding two screws. So if you have um, super strong fingernails, you could probably use that or how about don't damage your fingernails and use a flathead screwdriver instead? With these two access tabs open, you can see the screws in the back. You can use either a Phillips head screwdriver or a socket to get to them. So uh, uh, screwdrivers are just easier for me sometimes. All right, now with the screws removed, this is where it gets the most tricky. What you're gonna need to do is pull from the top and the back here and use a trim removal tool to pry off the lens from the body panel. We highly recommend that you use plastic so that you don't damage the paint on your car or the plastic housing of the lens. So if you don't have one of these, we'll post a link to one that we like on Amazon and you can purchase it from there or hopefully you already have a set and you're ready to go. Do not use metal. You probably will damage your paint. So you're just gonna stick it in there, give it a good tug and it'll pop right away. From here, you can pull the lens out and see that all of your lights are held in with one single electronic connection. And you just gotta unclip this for free access. And since my fingers are terrible at this, I like to use a nice set of pliers very gently to loosen it. and it comes right off. Ta-da! Now the reverse bulb is gonna be on the bottom here when you're looking at the lens. So give it a little twist counterclockwise and you should feel it snap and you can pull it out. Now this housing is quite long for that standard incandescent bulb. So what we're gonna do now is just swap them out. It pulls straight out and our new Oxidos will slide straight in. Now just slide it straight in. That's snug. Back into the housing. Be very careful not to damage your new LED bulb. Find where your tabs line up. Like that. And give it a good twist clockwise 
to lock it back in place. So what we're gonna do now is plug it in and set the lens back into uh, its home, but we're not gonna snap anything back in place or attach it until we test it to make sure that this bulb works. Because after all of our years of experience, we've learned, test your stuff. Our connector, put that in. All right. And I'm just gonna kind of let it sit there for now. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, crank the car and drop it in reverse. So now that we've tested it and know that it works, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall this lens back onto the car. Installation is just the reverse of taking it off. But there is one thing I wanna point out for our viewers who own a 2021-2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. On the lens itself, you can see that there is a pocket here below the mounting screws. What that pocket actually does is it grabs your rear bumper cover right here on this tab and holds it in place. So while you're wrangling your bumper cover on the lens assembly, you also wanna make sure that this clip lines up perfectly with this U-cup. And you have two metal spikes that also get inserted into clips on the body as well. So really, if you line everything up just right, it goes on super simple. And snap it in. Once everything is snapped in, now you just reinsert your screws. So that's all we have for you today. We hope that you found this video very useful, helpful, and gave you the confidence to do this job yourself. Until next time, take care and stay safe.